nice and shallow on the way back. This is the way it should be leaving early, rather late. Bass there, see that? Just kiting around. Sometimes be quite curious these bass. I didn't see what kind of fish that was. Maybe a small mullet. by the lights. Like some berries here. There's a fish that's been stranded by the tide. And what is he? That is a coal fish. Stranded by the tide, eh? Might do as bait tomorrow for me. I'm sure, I think it's a coal fish. Can't remember how the jaw's supposed to go. It looks very greeny across the back, though. Spend quite a lot of time uh, mucking around here in the shallows. Look at these fish jumping. Look at them all. Oh, look at that. Dogfish just down there on the bottom. Look at him. He doesn't even think I can see him. Let me just spread the beam a bit so you can get an idea of what I'm seeing. Look at it. See if we'll move. Yeah, there he goes. Just uh, being mindful of these stingrays that everyone's talking about. But that creature was so well camouflaged. I'm not sure I should be walking through this passage. It's I've never done before. Eel grass and stuff around.
of stuff on the seabeds, funny shapes and structures. It's got to be a rock, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go messing around keeping rocks that side, eh? find out something else. You can see the little prawns and stuff down there. See that one there? It's a good size. Well, I wouldn't say a good size, but you can see them shooting around. Just using this stuff for cover. You can see that one on the bottom there. See him? The shrimp or prawns, and I can see one there. It's a, look at the little eyes glowing up. See that? Just there. There might be more in there if I remove this weed. It's a little bit like it's growing in there, though. Yeah, you can see the little eyes. There's more in there. They're just sort of hiding. Oh, look in here. See that little guy there? Oh, there's a few of them. In fact, look at them all in there. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just all the little pink eyes glowing up. Look at that one. They always tend to get trapped in there. Or they're like it as a habitat, perhaps. Cool. Check out that enemy type thing. Oh, look at this rock thing there. I think he's hiding. Can you see his tail? If I just try and move him, what happens? You can see it's just wedged under that rock. Right, here's one of the little creatures. Whoa. That was in that hole. It's a rock link. Some sort of rock link. He's been in that little hole swimming around. I'm just gonna let him swim off. There's one other creature in there that I'd like to see. Just gonna pop him off. Watch him disappear now. You see him go. You see how camouflaged he is. He's not the one I'm looking for. There's a black one that I'm looking for. Right, you can go back. I'll show you this guy. This is the one I've been after. Looks like a giant goby. I don't know if you can see that well. It's the sort of shape of him. He's also in the hole, hiding under a rock. Pretty cool little creatures. I've caught a few of these much bigger than this though. And they just like to hide in little holes and rocks. So I'm gonna pop them in here and you can watch them go off. He 
which has had rougher skin this one did. Pop him in a bit of a deeper pool. And he'll just shoot off, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Very well camouflaged, aren't they? Rustling. You can see that just there pretty well. He's also living in that hole with a big crab. <laughs> 